The Comics app lets you manage and read all the local comic files stored on your NAS in one place. You get a beautiful comic wall display and a smooth reading experience, so you can easily build your own digital comic library. When you open the Comics app on your desktop, you can manage your comic libraries and control user permissions. You can start by creating a new comic library, just name it the way you like, then choose a source folder. If you don't pick one, the system will automatically create a matching folder for you. Depending on the format of your comics, you can choose whether the system should treat them as chapter comics or one-shots comics. Once you create the library, the system automatically scans the folder and shows it right on the homepage. If you have more than one comic library on the homepage, you can simply drag them to reorder the layout. When you click the three-dot menu button on the right side of a library, you can scan that library alone, or use the one-click scan on the homepage to scan all libraries at once. If you choose Edit, you can update the library's details. And when you hit Delete, the library is removed from the app, but your actual comic files stay safe. In User tab, admins can only manage access permissions for regular users. You can adjust which comic libraries they're allowed to view, but you can't set permissions for other admins. On the desktop app, you mainly get management features, but for a better reading experience, you'll want to switch to the mobile app. When you open the Comics app on mobile, you'll see all your libraries plus your recent reading history, and you can tap once to continue reading right away. At the top, the search bar lets you enter keywords to quickly find the comic you want. On the right side of Comics, you can turn on Multi-Select or Select All with one tap, then choose to Favorite or Delete them. You can also sort your comics by name, recently read, or recently added in either ascending or descending order. In the Recents tab, you can check both your latest and older reading records. The button in the top right corner lets you quickly search or bulk delete your history. In the Personal tab, you can view everything you favorited. Inside Favorites, you can long press or use the multi-select button in the top right corner to remove items from favorites and you can sort your favorites however you like. In Reading Settings, you can adjust the default reading direction. You can choose left to right, right to left, or top to down. The new setting applies only to comics you open afterward. You can also switch background colors, enable automatically crop white edge, and turn on display contents in notch area, or turn pages via volume key if you need them. Comic library management and user permission management settings on mobile work the same way as on the desktop. And when you tap Clear Cache, the app will automatically remove cache data. On the comic page, once you pick a comic, you can continue reading right away. And you can also check all its chapters and how many pages you've already read. On the right side of each chapter, the three-dot menu button lets you edit the chapter name and view its file size and file location. In the top right corner of the comic page, the three-dot menu here lets you change the poster cover, edit the comic's name, author, and introduction, and check where the comic file is stored. You can also favorite or delete the comic from here. In the reader, once you start reading, you'll see your current page number and the total page count in the bottom right corner. You can tap the previous chapter or next chapter buttons on the sides of the timeline to switch quickly, or simply drag the timeline to jump to any page you want. From the bottom menu bar, you can open the chapter content or adjust how the pages are displayed. In the reading settings, you can change the screen brightness, the reading direction, and the screen orientation. You can choose a zoom mode that fits your preference, and each zoom mode will display the image in a different size. You can also customize the tap zones on the page so the page turns in the direction you're used to. And if you want higher image quality, you can switch to the original mode for sharper visuals.